Hello everyone, welcome to Her Courage to Plan. My name is Megan. Today's video is a little bit different for me guys. I want to share with you all the pre-planning process that I use to create our budget. And I've never done one of these types of videos before guys. What you all generally end up seeing is the budget plan with me is where I'm setting up the uh, budget and decorating my planner but you all don't get to see the process before that and I thought it would be interesting to just share with you all how I do it now this is something that works well for me um, hubs has put me in charge of the budget as you guys know so I am a multimodal learner and I use several different methods and I always find myself going back to paper and pen guys so I do use a electronic budget but I also use the paper and pen so today I'm going to share with you everything that I do to get me to the point where I can actually share a actual budget plan with me with you guys so the tools that I will be using today guys is I have a bill payment tracker along with the monthly budget and I have two paycheck budget sheets that I printed out from my new paycheck to paycheck budget journal and I use this every month guys and it really makes a difference now before I started creating physical stickers you all know in my DIY planner uh, for 2020 I mostly use this journal and I still find myself going back and using my printable to help me pre-plan and I'll kind of further explain to you how I use this and then I also have a actual calendar now I always keep a month at a glance on my desk but I also have a 12 month basic calendar guys it's nothing fancy but I always keep this because this helps me to pre-plan now my 12 month paycheck to paycheck budget journal it does come with a blank calendar and that is what I've used in the past but I went ahead and just created this since I needed to create a 2021 month at a glance. So I went ahead and just created a uh, full calendar that's dated. And also I will be using some of my functionals that I do have in my Etsy shop. These are teardrops. Um, I do have them in several colors. These are the plum paper uh, colors. I have them in neutral, I have them in the regular uh, multi-colors, and I also have your regular circle. So if you're interested in any of the items that I'm using, except for this calendar, I don't have this in my Etsy shop, but everything else, if you want to, you know, just grab it and just put it in your arsenal, I do have my link down below in the, the description box. So let's go ahead and dive a little bit deeper into the planning process. Now, one of the things that I always do, guys, before I, you know, try to do our budget pre-plan, I want to make sure that I am, number one, I'm not already exhausted. I never try to come and do a pre-plan when I'm exhausted mentally. And I just want to make sure that I'm fully aware and I'm energized because this is an important process to me. And even though it's just the pre-planning process, I still like to, you know, make it fun so that when I do get to the actual end result of, you know, laying down the stickers, everything flows pretty seamless. And just like in the past, guys, I always keep a bill payment tracker. This one here, I just changed the year and put 2021, but I do have a electronic tracker. Now I have completed the annual budget using Excel and I've completed our annual budget using paper and pen. And if you missed those videos, I'll leave it linked up above and you can go back and check them out. And that annual budget using Excel, I have, you know, pretty much updated and I use the information from that to put on my bill payment tracker. Now with the bill payment tracker, I list all of our monthly expenses and I do our variables or our saving funds closer to the end. But this here guys, I can hole punch this and I can put it in my planner or I can keep it out. But I always have a master copy of the bill payment tracker. I always have that handy. So then again with the monthly budget 
before I even do the monthly budget, I go ahead and I complete our calendar spread. And that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do with you guys today. So right here, guys, with the January uh, monthly calendar, now you can use stickers, you can use highlighters, or you could just, you know, write it in here with, you know, your pencil or your pen. Now I do use a regular number two pencil, guys, when I'm doing my pre-planning. This is old school, guys, because if I need to erase something, then I want to be able to do that. I do know there's erasable pens, but for some reason, I do like just a regular number two pencil when I'm actually filling out my calendar. And I already have some functional stickers that I started using, so I'm just gonna you know, finish up these. But guys, I don't try to keep with a color scheme so much, you know, as far as every month. Just depends on what stickers that I do have available. I'll just use what I have. And again, you don't have to use stickers. You can just use, you know, your regular pen or regular pencil. If you have highlighters, you can kind of, you know, highlight, you know, a little dot and just make you a, a color code system, however you want. But this is what I'm gonna do. I usually take the bill payment tracker. I always keep this handy. So I'm just gonna keep this to the side. So I do know that hubs get paid on Mondays. And I do know that January, it is a uh, three paycheck month for me. And I do go ahead and just put a little code system up here. And I'm gonna do that with my stickers. So what I am going to use, and these are the teardrops. And I'm just gonna say that the green, of course, these are gonna be for uh, paydays. And I'm just gonna lay that down there and then I'll write on here payday and then for like the tithes because we do tithe I'll use the purples for tithe and it doesn't matter which color I use but I'll just use this one here and then I'll say that this is for tithes and then for our regular like monthly bills, I'll choose a different color. And we'll just say orange can be our bills. And it really doesn't matter which color orange. So I'll just say this will be for the bills. And then for like if we have appointments or anything else, if there's a day off or something that I need to notate, like et cetera, et cetera, I'll just choose a random color, guys. It doesn't have to be, you know, something that's um, I use every month. So I'll just use like this little teal green color. And then I'm just gonna put here that this is for, let's just say appointments, because I do know I have an appointment in January. So I'll say this is for appointments um off days etc so anything that i want to notate it'll be color coded with a teal green teardrop so next what i do after i've color coded everything guys i'll go ahead and i actually write in the paydays so i'll say uh payday Now this may be a lot of writing for some, but again, guys, this process, I like to make it fun because this is an important process uh, to me. And I don't, you know, rush through our pre-plan process. So I just, you know, put their payday and it doesn't have to be all that, you know, neat. Even if I cover up a date, it's fine. But I just want to make sure that I'm coding the paydays as green and again if you don't have stickers like I said you have color pens or you know color pencils or highlighters you can use that but this here is what I'm using All right, so now that I have my payday green stickers down, 
then the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and indicate the tithe. We do tithe weekly. And then of course, after I finish writing down, you know, the tithe, I go in with the bills. So remember, I do have the bill tracker here and I know what is due. And just to kind of, you know, reiterate how I use this bill tracker, of course, the due dates are here, but a lot of these items that are on here that have like these little letters in parentheses, Amazon, that's due annually. So I know it's due in August, so that's a one-time payment. So I won't, of course, write that down in January. And then for the pest control, that is every other month. And I went ahead and just kind of put a line up under, you know, the boxes so that I know every other month it's due. So it's not going to be due in January, but for February, it will be due. Same with Sam's Club, that's annual, but that's not until November. And then of course our insurance membership, there's an A there and that's annually. And like I said, I do, you know, our grocery, we have a monthly budget, but I tend to go to the grocery store weekly. And then all the other items as far as our saving funds and um, you know, our variable expenses, they are at the bottom. So I'll go ahead and write in our bill. So I do know, of course, our mortgage is due. And even when I put on here mortgage, I go ahead and put the actual amount on here as well. Because when I lay down our bill due stickers in our planner, then I already have the actual dollar amount indicated. So I don't have to, you know, go back and forth trying to figure out what the amount is. I already have it indicated on the calendar. And then I have here that uh, Netflix is due on the 2nd. So I'll go ahead and put in um, Netflix. And then of course I'll put the amount. And then we do have internet that's due on the 5th. We do have YouTube that is due on the 11th. Electricity on the 16th. We have car insurance that is due on the 19th. And then we have AT&T which is due on the 24th. Our lawn service and life insurance, that's due on the 30th. And also at the end of the month, we have that $50 that's automatically taken out of our joint checking account into our joint savings account, which is now our emergency fund. So here on the 30th, I'll have a lawn service and then I'll put that amount, which is $100 that's planned. And then we'll have life insurance and that is at the 6264 and then i'll just put savings here and that is for the 50 dollars so once i finish writing out the bills i'll go ahead and i'll put a icon there for the bills so we'll just you know continue to use the orange color All right, and then last, I have appointments, if I have any days off, et cetera, I'll go ahead and indicate anything, you know, that I need to, you know, remind myself of. So I do know I do have an appointment and that is gonna be on the 18th. So I do know I have a dentist appointment and that is at 1210. And I'll go ahead and put that color icon down. And also I want to indicate on here, you all know that we have fur babies and I do a flea and tick treatment once a month. So I try to do it on the first or the second Sunday of the month. So I'm going to put an indication here because I do have some flea and tick stickers that I want to put on my calendar. 
so I'll just put on here uh, flea and tick treatments and then also I do know that our church for the month of January we're going to be doing a Daniel fast and it actually starts January the 3rd and it ends on January the 24th so I do want to put an indication here that we will be doing a Daniel fast and I'm just going to use that same icon color and I'll just put that this is the start of it and then we end on the 24th so I'll be able to squeeze in another icon right below that there and then I'll just put um, Daniel fast in and then the last thing that I do want to indicate on here I do know for the month of January um, hubs he does get a, a bonus and I put this indication here on the bill tracker his bonus months so I know January we're expecting one so I'm gonna put here hubs bonus for you know just some notes and then um, also I'm gonna put the Daniel fast and then I'll put the actual date here so it'd be January 3rd through January the 24th and I don't necessarily need to put an icon there but I will I don't have any darker greens but let's see I'll go with this here tone and it'll kind of get us close to what we need all right guys so this is basically what I do I do this every month guys I go ahead and just kind of you know get it out on my calendar that way I have a visual of what is actually due whether it's a bill I see the icon here or if it's you know paydays the green automatically sticks out and whatever I have indicated for all other things like appointments um, you know if I'm off or just anything else that I want to make a notation of I use the functionals for that now guys this is how I do a quick pre-plan with me again it is not fancy and I do know there's all different types of ways you can do your pre-plan but this here guys it works for me and I get to keep this I'll do one every month and I always go back and I look at my um, pre-plans and I look at my monthly budgets so I keep these handy and the only thing that I end up you know trashing or getting rid of is once I'm finished using my monthly and my paycheck sheets after I've you know closed out these are trashed but everything else guys I hold on to it because again I like to come back and I like to you know flip back and see what I've you know done in the past and guys if you have lasted this long in the video I want to give away the actual PDF form of the 2021 calendar. So you will be able to print this particular calendar. And I did a tutorial a few months ago on how to create a budget sheet using Google Docs. I wanna be able to give that to you all as well. So I wanna start out January, 2021 giving many of you all can you know get this freebie if you so desire so the link will be in the description box if you want to you know get your hands on these free printables they will not be available long so i will make the link available for uh one week let's give it until saturday january the 9th if you have not downloaded it by january the 9th the link will definitely be removed and it will not be available and so again i hope you all enjoyed this video i hope you enjoy your free printables 
And yeah, guys, leave me a comment down below. Do you do any type of pre-planning uh, before you actually do your budget? Or do you just dive into completing your budget and, you know, go ahead and write it out in your actual calendar? Let's have a conversation down below. All right, guys, you already know the deal. I'm going to see you later. Bye.